welcome students today we are going to learn sum of series program using for loop we are going to see the following series this series we have already done so we are going to see how to find the sum of this series here you can see the changes instead of plus here you can see minus so again here it is plus and then here it is instead of plus it is minus so from this you can find the even number whenever it is there before that it is minus so you are going to subtract the answer of the even term and the odd term the answer of that odd term you are going to add until x to the power n so it may be plus or minus at last so whenever it is changing we are going to give a condition for adding or subtraction so let us go to the program this was the program which we have done in previous tutorial so let us have this modifications what we wanted to do so before finding the sum only we are going to change so if to find the odd term that is odd number we can have the condition i mode 2 so that is i is going to be divided by 2 if the remainder is 1 then it is going to be odd term so it will do plus else it is going to be even so that is 2 mode 2 that is going to be 0 we have to give here relational operator that is 2 times equal to then here sum is equal to sum minus y so this simple condition will change the subtraction or addition according to the term compile this i will just run and show you you can check manually whether the answer is correct or wrong for few terms so let us have x is 3 and then n is 4 terms so you could see sum is equal to minus 0 0.375 so this is very simple one here in the numerator all these are only constant that is 1 and the denominator the powers are all constant which is 2 and then the number only it is changing as i so this is 1 2 3 and, and so on up to n so let us go to the program again so here we are not going to take any input for x up to n term we are taking so let us cancel this x and then we are not going to have this y and factorial that f1 So this is not required here so this is going to be sum now sum is equal to sum plus so what is going to be 1 divided by math to the power that is i to the power 2 the 2 is constant power was the constant one then this we don't need see here 1 by math dot power of i comma 2 so these conditions are not required so that's all it is very simple program then compile this no syntax error So let us find just for 2 it is going to be 1.25 let 
let us go to the next sum of series here you can see in the numerator it is all x which is a constant here it was 1 here it was x so x we are going to take a, as a user input and then here you can see here up to n term so but the term here it is not continuous like 1 2 3 4 that is like i so n term you need so that is 1 to n term so that i loop may be 1 to n but here then starting number is changing and then every time the difference is 3 here you can see the uh, difference here 3 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 so we need two variable which is for i and then which is for this both going to change and then x is going to be a constant one so let us go and modify the program there so this is int n n time it is going to run and then m is the other variable which is going to increase every time 3 but it is starting from 2 let us give here itself we know how to give multiple variables in for loop so we just give comma here we can have m as the next variable and then it starts from 2 so it is increasing every time by 3 so we can give comma m is equal to m plus 3 otherwise we can give m plus equal to 3 so we have assigned denominator here we need a numerator which is x which is going to be user input so it is int x so here let us change the formula in the numerator it is going to be x and the denominator going to be simply m so x the value given then m is at the first time it is 2 the next time it is going to be 5 then third time it is going to be 8 and like so on up to the term which is given by the user here i wanted to tell you one more thing when this is integer and this is also integer when it get divided by a number it may have decimal points so it should be a double so we can explicit here by giving the data type forcefully to convert into double double compile this let us run this so n's value may be three terms then the value of x is going to be 4 so 3.3 .3 is the answer so please calculate and uh, confirm whether it is true or not let us see the next series now here we can see 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 see we already know what is the factorial factorial was 1 that 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 into 3 that was the factorial so instead of factorial here it is plus so instead of doing f is equal to f into i we will do that variable is equal to variable plus i so that's all so let us change here we should have n term And then we don't need this and this m. So i is equal to 1, i is lesser than or equal to n, i plus plus. So here one more variable let us give int s. Yes. So let s yes is equal to i plus s yes. so what it does i is initially 1 so this less is initially as a default value when it is adding so 1 plus 0 1 so the next time that 1 
then 1 plus 2 so that is 3 then 3 plus the answer it is 4 so every time it is going to take the sum of this one and then the sum so it is going to be yes here see now what it will do 1 then that is become sum then here 1 plus 2 it is going to be 3 so that 3 plus 1 is going to be sum 4 so let us compile this so let us have two terms it is 4 if it is 3 terms then 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 so that is going to be 10 let us run that also 3 times it is 10 the last one which we are going to see is 1 plus 1 plus 2 by 1 into 2 that is factorial here here which we have seen already here this one so below it is going to be a factorial upper thing going to be instead of factorial it is going to be plus here it is 1 so that is 1 by 1 it is going to be 1 only so we have to introduce the numerator and denominator separately and then we will do this so let this yes be numerator as we have already calculated that numerator and then this denominator be d is equal to d into i so that is going to be factorial so instead of f we have given d so that it should be initialized int d is equal to 1 see this is going to be factorial this is going to be additional value so here what it is going to be there s yes by d then this here again explicit double so how many times maybe four times so the answer is this thank you students please watch my channel then you can subscribe this is for free